It's gonna be a gazillion dollars in diesel to get to Alaska. Yeah, I think if our math is correct, it'll be just under a thousand dollars in fuel just to get up to Alaska. I think we're gonna head towards Fairbanks first. But anyways, we're in the prelims of planning. Don't hold us to any of that. It could all change. But today, Seattle. We're Justin and Jesse. We retired at 30, sold everything, and moved into a van with our pets. Join us as we try to hit every state in our van and show you all the cool and weird stuff along the way. Don't forget to subscribe. We're Floyd's in the damn van. Okay, so we just pulled up to the cemetery to see a famous grave. We'll talk about that in a second. Parked here randomly, and what do you got, Justin? Swear to Jeebus, didn't see you. What the heck? I don't like this. I don't really either, but... That is good our name. last name on gravestone. That's right beside of where we parked. Few famous musicians are from the Seattle area, but the one we are gonna check out today is Mr. Jimi Hendrix. Just outside of Seattle here at the Jimi Hendrix Memorial. This is where the legendary guitarist is buried and then he's got like 800 plots around it for family members to be buried here in the future it appears. He honestly is one of the greatest guitarists to ever play the guitar, to ever exist. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which pretty much anything they say doesn't mean jack all, but we do respect their opinion on they claim that he could be the greatest instrumentalist musician one of the greatest to ever do it so if you look up Jimi hendrix you will find incredible guitar solos and a different sound and a different style than you've ever heard before one random fact some people might not know but Jimi hendrix was in the army for a year before he was discharged because he didn't have any interest in being in the army he just wanted to play his guitar. One more thing too is that Jimi Hendrix, he was a member of the 27 Club. He died young from an overdose, so RIP to the legend.
Okay, we're another day deep into this Canada planning adventure. Today, we've been getting documents like the rabies certificates for the pets, our insurance documents printed out for the van, and picking up things like dog and cat food. There are a lot of rules about going into Canada, so we had to be very specific about like how much dog food we got, make sure it's packaged, make sure it's from the USA. So, um, we're really trying to do this right so we don't get denied. We can just go in, get everything done. Legacy split. And here's Justin. How was it in there? Fun. Uh, I looked through their stock and uh, I didn't see the size we needed. But we're good with this. I think so. That doesn't put us over the weight limit that they are insisting we follow. Again, we will follow all of their rules. So. Now, uh, we also got our storage locker set up so we can put things in there that we don't want to cross with. Yeah, I swear, like, the town was like, Jesse's a filming. Come on, Roma. Um, anyways, they're just making all the noise they can. You see what I'm saying? mantle it is what yeah that's where uh everyone's supposed to hang their stockings for christmas i had no idea this was here mm -hmm. greetings from anna cortez washington we're not too far from canada it's actually just right over there but you won't believe where we are today yeah it's the earth's mantle this is uh it's come up through the ocean's crust and now we're standing on earth mantle how wild uh, normally this would be like 30 miles below the surface and hot as balls where you would probably be burnt to death like I think a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and now we're just standing here hanging out on it they don't really know exactly why it's like this but there is a good uh, understanding that maybe it was the San Juan plate was colliding with the North American tectonic plate and now it's somehow come through the surface but this is an anomaly and it's one of the only like one of the few places in the world you can stand on the mantle of the earth America, it's time to take Floyd's damn van international. Damn right. How do we feel? <sighs> you know, I've been called a xenophobe before. We're in Sumas, Washington. We're about a mile from Canada. We're about to cross the border tomorrow. Today, what are we gonna do to get ready? We got a storage unit. That's right there. Um, actually, I'm not even gonna show you where it's at because you'll come steal our shit, you know? Yep. While we're in Canada. Yep. So, we are gonna put things that we don't need to take in this storage unit. Um, think bear maze bra, think weapons. Hey, good morning. After all the cleaning, preparing that we did, we still miss something. Look, we have just a rolling arsenal of weapons. If you haven't subscribed to the Floyds, what are you doing with your life? Honestly. <laughs> 